basically we realize that when you look at a protein, there are two, there are two factors. One is what's the composition of the, those nine essential amino acids, and the other is what's its bioavailability? How well do we digest it and absorb it? Animal proteins uh, and most isolated proteins, you know, even uh, soy protein isolates, uh, the digestion absorption is pretty close to 100. It's usually 95% or higher uh, for all animal proteins. For plant proteins, though, it gets into, uh, you, you need to realize that in a plant, the, the protein is there for the purpose of the plant. And so a lot of it is attached to fibers, to structures. You know, we have plants have proteins attached to the leaves and the stems and the roots and the flowers and the seeds. And it, you know, when you start to isolate that, uh, if you just eat it in a raw form, uh, it may only be 60, 70 percent available uh, because we can't digest the fiber. So those are the two factors. We can put those two together and get a protein quality score, and we can uh, determine that a whey protein isolate, because of its essential amino acids, is 20% better than a soy protein isolate, just because of the amino acids. Or we can compare uh, a wheat protein, uh, you know, a, a wheat bran, and we realize that it's only 40% available. You know, so if you look at wheat bran on a cereal box and say it was a wheat flour, uh, and it says there's four grams per serving, there's actually less than two that you can actually absorb. We, I am working on a group with a group trying to build a protein quality score that really based on three amino acids, uh, lysine, methionine, and leucine, which in my opinion are the key markers for adult health. I mean, if you go into the USDA database with whatever, 7,000 foods, uh, there are 4,000 that actually have amino acid scores. And of those, there's probably less than 300 that have diaz scores. And so you can't put it together. If you look on a label on a package and you see, again, a wheat cereal that says it has four grams a protein. Well, again, that's a nitrogen analysis. And then if you look over in another column, it'll say daily values. Yeah, exactly. And there almost no, almost no label have daily values for protein because they don't, that would require a PDCAS or Diaz score and nobody has them. And so that four grams really would translate into less than two, but nobody's being told that. but I have a big problem with the amino acid scores because they're incredibly low. They're way too low. And so we have, they're established by the World Health Organization, by the FAO, which is really designed to prevent malnutrition in Africa, where we know from our Institute of Medicine that the essential amino acid scores are much higher than that, should be. Uh, you mentioned stable isotopes a little bit ago, or tracers. We know from stable isotope studies that all those FA, FAO amino acid scores are too low. And so that's part of the equation that we're not telling people either. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.